guys you are all welcome back to your favorite travel channel this is your girl sally jenkins i'm here in orlando florida for a work conference on lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses and i decided to drop this video guys because i did some research and found out that there are uh, there are some tick-borne illnesses that are found in cameroon as well i i was so i was so surprised and since i know exactly what Lyme disease is and what it does to the human body I decided to sensitize my people and tell them what to do to prevent you know tick bites and becoming sick from uh, tick bites so just like Lyme disease the tick-borne illnesses that are found in that are present in Cameroon one of one of them is the African tick bite fever has all the presentations that the, that li that Lyme disease has starts with being beaten by a tick and then the development of a rash and then you know acute symptoms like headaches lymph node enlargements chills fevers you know and stuff like that so when this happens and patients are not treated it becomes chronic and that is when all the severe complications start coming in. I'm talking about complications like severe joint pains and inflammation, confusion, seizures, paralysis of one side of the face, heart blocks, um, psychiatric, uh, yes, like I said, psych issues also come in play, mood, mood, mood disturbances, psych issues like anxiety, depression, hallucination cognitive issues like confusion people you know forget where they were going and go elsewhere you know what i'm saying so these are life-threatening complications that come with a simple tick bite so in my uh, follow-up videos i'm going to do follow-up videos to sensitize people who are at risk for tick bites on what to do to prevent tick bites first of all we will start talking about um what kind of tick bites give uh, what kind of transmit what kind of bacteria the treatments uh, what to do also we will be talking about uh, what to do when you identify a tick on on the skin how to remove an, a, a tick that is attached to the skin and what to do with the tick after removing. yeah so guys in my next video i will be talking about more on the complications that come with untreated diseases that come with tick bites and also how to prevent being bitten by ticks avoiding areas that are in, uh, endemic you know bushes and tall grasses all those areas um, are areas that usually have the ticks so I'll probably drop the rest of the videos in pigeon that way I can reach you know out to the population that actually needs this information um, what else uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you have not liked my channel or subscribe please do and share my videos i'll see you in the next one okay bye